16, Congressman Greg Gianforte joins us in studio live this morning. Good to see you. Been Victoria, catching up with you. Good to be with you. Yeah. yeah. So let's talk about the most recent news that um, hit the headlines yesterday, net neutrality. Um, you released a statement, and it sounds like you're pleased with the FCC's uh, decision yesterday. Yeah, well, I, you know, I spent some time with the Internet. We had our software business in Bozeman. And, you know, for 20 years, the Internet prospered. Mm -hmm. and uh, under the old rules. And then just two years ago, the Obama regulations started to bring federal regulations. And mm -hmm. I just think the rules that we use to create Facebook and Amazon and our own business right now, technologies, were good. Uh, I mm -hmm. think we need to provide open access uh, but uh, the old rules work pretty well. That's how we got the internet. Yeah, and I know a lot of people are concerned, you know, there's going to be uh, fee increases from the cable providers, internet providers. Do you see that, or, or is that a concern There's been a lot of misinformation. I had somebody call the office and say, are they going to charge me for Facebook? Uh -huh. And the yeah, answer is, no, too. you're not going to get charged for Facebook. We're just going back to the rules that existed two years ago mm -hmm. that actually allowed the internet. In fact, since those Obama era regulations were put in place, investment in broadband, particularly for rural areas, has gone down dramatically. Mm -hmm. We're going to go back to the rules that allow the internet to grow and provide free access to everybody. All right. Well, thanks for sharing your viewpoints on that. Now, let's also talk about two bills that uh, you recently brought out. Yes, we introduced two bills yesterday, and one is the wild and scenic river designation for the East Rosebud, and mm -hmm. the second one is a, uh, a bill to protect Paradise Valley, just north of Yellowstone Park, mm -hmm. from mining. And I've gone to these communities. I've met with the folks. Their voice was very, very clear. And Susan and I, my wife and I, have spent a lot of time in the back country, back country camping with our kids. Both these bills protect our precious public lands uh, so that we can continue to enjoy them and protect our outdoor economy. All right. Well, it'll be interesting to see how those go. Um, and and you're, I mean, like you said, you're familiar with these areas. So this is something that the people of Montana in those areas really want. They've spoken to you and reached they out. They have, especially in Paradise Valley. I've met with the county commissioners, the local legislators. There's a Yellowstone Business Coalition mm -hmm. that really represents all the fly fishing guides and everything else. And Yellowstone's such an important part of our economy and these outdoor jobs. Uh, we need to protect it. That's not every place is the right place for a mine. And right on the boundary of Yellowstone Park, uh, in, in right behind Chico Hot Springs, that's mm -hmm. not the right place to put a mine. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us here on The Morning Show. It sounds like uh, you get to spend some time in Montana before it's back to D.C. Well, just the weekend. Just the weekend. Uh, <laughs> I'm back home here in Montana every weekend uh -huh. uh, commuting. I have to come home and touch it home base right oh, yeah. before I go back to the swamp. Yeah, get uh, get homesick there. All right. Yeah, well, good. great. Thank you so much.